Hello, we are going to make these adorable, flexible, fully clothed little worry dolls. You start from top to bottom. So first, get yourself some yarn for hair. Your pipe cleaner will be the body and your bead will be the head. Match the two tips together on your pipe cleaner, pull down to make it folded exactly in half. For hair, you can use something like this embroidery floss, but you don't need the whole thing because it won't fit on top of your head. You need about half. So what I did is I opened carefully the loop so that I could see the full amount. And then I will snip it in one place. If you're working with a lot of people, you can give different people different amounts of the hair. For the first person, they have a choice of making incredibly long Rapunzel hair, or they can save those ends for other people. Slip and zip that bead right up to make the hair very tight. You can give it a short haircut, a medium haircut, a long haircut. And notice those two pieces can totally be used by other people to give pretty long hair. I pull the two legs apart to make sure everything is very tight. And this is a good moment to give it a careful face. Some wooden beads will bleed a little bit with marker, so just touch your marker for a short amount of time. There might be guidelines on how to bend your arms. I push down right where I am bending and it should be like a coat hanger with two equal sized arms. You'll need to hold the middle of the body, hold the base of the arms and twist it like a key until they are solid. And then you hold the chest and twist the waist. Keep an eye on how long you are leaving the legs. Legs are pretty long and then bend up your feet. This should make a generally symmetrical human type shape. And of course, it's not proportional. For hair, you'll probably wanna glue down behind the ears and back of the head so that you can begin to mush the hair down into a more natural position, unless you want a funny updo. So you might get glue on your fingers. You can use all that glue in and around the hair. Glue usually dries very clear. You can do a few more snips for a haircut. And for this short hair, I glued it all down pretty well. So that's your basic doll. You might have other things, other kinds of yarn that is not embroidery thread, in which case it's might be thicker. I twirl this thread, this yarn, around my hand eight times loosely, and it makes that same loop. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and also place that in the nook of my carefully folded pipe cleaner, right down there, because it's the first thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my bead on to tighten everything up and make sure the hair is very secure before I trim that hair and make it have loose ends. So I made it very tight, I twisted the neck by holding the bead, and now I can use the scissors to make it regular hair. And see that hair is a lot taller and bushier, but it's pretty fun. Hold down to bend the arms into place. And then here we go. This is another very short hairstyle that I glue down into place. It's time to give it some clothes. And the way that that has traditionally been done for the Guatemalan dolls, is they will use string or yarn and they will begin to wrap it around the body. So I'm gonna make a loop, like an open pretzel knot, and I'm going to place it around the neck or the chest, and then I start to wrap. I wrap around the neck, I wrap down around the armpit and shoulder. I can switch and begin to wrap around the other shoulder and down under that armpit, and it kind of makes an X. I can begin to wrap up the arm, but then I'll have to go back down the arm. Then I wrap up the other arm and down the other arm. This also helps to thicken 
the shirt. So you're wrapping very tightly, wrapping under the armpits and down to the waist for a shirt. If I need to hold arms or hair out of the way, I can bend them out of the way and that got easier to wrap the waist. When it's time to stop, stick your finger under your last wrap and then pull the string under and through to secure it. It's kind of a knot that's on the body and you can trim any tails you don't want. So you can continue this to do pants. Same thing, make a circle with your string then put the tip through the circle and then put it onto your doll and pull it tight. For the pants, I'm gonna begin by wrapping around the waist a lot and then I'm gonna bend the legs and wrap each one down and then up and then down and then up. I'm going to make a knot to tie it all together, trim it off. So that one has hair and pants and a shirt. And you can certainly add more details if you want. If you're going to make something like a skirt, you should lay your doll down onto the fabric and make some pencil lines where you will be cutting. I decided to use a straight edge, like a ruler or a template to draw a straight line. This skirt is basically going to be a rectangle. You can see that I will wrap it around the waist and using some good tacky glue, it'll stay right in place. You can decide where you want the flaps to fall. Do you want them in front? Do you want them in back? There will be a flap remaining that you can glue down with glue. You'll hold it just for a while while the glue dries. The other choice is to make a circle skirt. You might get a circle tracer. You might trace that circle a little bit closer to the edge than I just did. But you cut in towards the circle and cut it out. Then you fold the circle in half and you're right in the center. You'll give it a tiny little snip and this will be where you stick your doll body through. You're gonna pull that circle up to where you like it. You can also do this for a poncho or a shirt. And then underneath the skirt where it won't show, we're going to add some tacky glue. Whenever you're gluing, try to make it so that won't show and hold it for a while to let it dry. Just hold it and pinch it and let your doll dry.